In this video, I'm gonna talk about the three different types of testing on Android. So that's gonna be local unit tests, instrumentation tests, and UI tests. Before I start the presentation, let's take a look at Android Studio so I can show you something that you've probably seen before. So if you've spent any amount of time in Android Studio, you are probably very familiar with this view. You have the app directory expanded, you have the Java directory expanded, and inside that, that folder there that says com, the one that has no kind of brackets on it, that's where you put your regular code. That's your, where you put your production code. But then what are these other two, the Android test and the test kind of directories? What are they for? What goes in there? And what is the difference between each one? So as I just said, there's three main types of testing on Android. The three types of testing are local unit tests, instrumentation tests, and UI tests. First, I'll talk about the local unit tests. Local unit tests are run on your local computer. So literally on the machine that has Android Studio installed on it. They are run using the Java Virtual Machine or JVM for short. So it's run using the language Java on your computer. They're very fast because you don't need an emulator and you don't need anything to do with Android really to run them. Basically, it's just running raw Java code on your computer. These are the types of tests that you use to test your code logic. So that means like, what does this kind of method do? Does it do the right thing? Does this method throw an exception? Are there a sequence of methods and are they called in the correct order? That kind of thing. It's all logic based, raw Java code, logic based tests. Some of the mainstream libraries that probably 95% of people are going to use are JUnit and Mockito. JUnit 5 actually just came out recently, which is what I'm going to be building my newest course on, my unit testing course. And if you're curious about that unit testing course, uh, keep watching this video and I'll tell you about it at the end. So now the next type of testing is instrumentation tests. Now these are very similar to local unit tests. You can think of them as almost the same with a little bit of difference. The instrumentation test can test Android specific functionality. That means functionality that uses things like activities, fragments, context, services, all this kind of life cycle stuff that is strictly kind of unique to Android. Because sometimes when you're designing tests, you are testing classes that have access to, you know, the application, context, activities, like I said. So that's that's where instrumentation tests come, come in handy. When you run instrumentation tests, you need to run them on a real device or on an emulator. And that's because they, they need the Android framework, like I said. Now, there's some third-party libraries that that will allow you to run these tests without an emulator or a real device. For example, RoboElectric, but sometimes they don't work perfectly. For example, JUnit 5, which is the newest version of JUnit, isn't compatible with RoboElectric, at least not yet. More than likely, it will be compatible eventually, just not right now. The mainstream libraries for instrumentation tests are the same for local unit tests. That's JUnit 5 and Mockito. However, since JUnit 5 just came out, there's still some Android specific dependencies that don't work perfectly with it, just like RoboElectric doesn't quite work perfectly with it. So for the instrumentation tests that I'm gonna be doing in the course, I'm going to be using JUnit 4 instead of JUnit 5. So just to be clear, in the course, I'll be using JUnit 5 for the local unit tests, and I'm, and I'm going to be using JUnit 4 for the instrumentation tests. Both are largely the same. There's just a few things related to the Android framework that aren't quite ready for JUnit 5. So the next type of testing is going to be UI testing. And this is the last sort of category of testing. UI tests are literally for simulating what a user might be doing with your application, whether that's, you know, pressing buttons, entering text, or basically doing anything and everything possible that a user could do. Also, it does these things at speeds that a normal user might not even be able to do. So it might click a button faster than a user ever would or slower than a user ever would. If your UI is going to break your app, these tests will find that problem. Obviously, these UI tests need to be done using the Android framework because it's interacting with the UI. So you need a real device or an emulator to run these tests. These UI tests are done with Expresso, which is a library. If you open any Android project, you're gonna see three directories inside the Java folder by default. One of these has nothing in brackets. That's gonna be where your production code goes. The second has Android test in brackets, and the third has test in brackets. 
there's more than one test directory because different tests must be kept in different directories because they use different dependencies. And now I'm going to talk about which directory is used for what and which types of unit tests go in each directory. Just to give you kind of a better picture, here's what the directories are going to look like in Android Studio. You have the source directory, and then inside source is Android test, main, which is the main package directory, and then test. If you're confused about the main package, and you've never seen this before, because I know in Android Studio, I think I just showed like com was the main package, but uh, it's just another view in Android Studio. So here, let me open Android Studio and show you. So earlier I was showing you the Android view and what we had was com, which was the package name. Then you had Android test and test. But if we go to the project view from the pull down up here, we expand app, we go to source. Now you can see the, the real names of these directories. So it's Android test main, which is the main package directory and test. So if you were confused about the presentation that I was just showing you, this is the view that I'm showing you here. There's Android test main, which is where your production code goes. And then there's test, which is for the uh, local unit tests. So just remember, instrumentation tests and UI tests belong to the Android test directory. The test directory is for the local unit tests. And then main is where your production code goes with the main package directory. UI tests are done with Expresso. Instrumentation tests are done with Mockito and JUnit. Local unit tests are also done with Mockito and JUnit. So that's going to be it for this video. Remember, if you want to learn how to write professional grade unit tests and not just learn about which unit tests go in which directories, make an account on my website. It's free. And then you'll get a notification when this course is ready. I'm making uh, a couple unit testing courses, unit testing one and unit testing two. Unit testing one is going to be a free course. It's going to be available probably just on my website. I haven't decided yet. Uh, using JUnit 5, Makito, and whatever, whatever else I decide. I'm, I'm not really done that one yet. And then there's unit testing 2, which will use JUnit 5, Makito, JUnit 4. That'll also be in there. Dagger, Room, MVVM architecture. All kinds of really, really valuable skills. If you want to get a job as an Android developer, you will need to know how to do these things. Like I said, making an account is very simple. You just go to login here go to register. You can register account. It takes like 30 seconds and then you'll get an email when this course is ready. If you're already registered on my website, just go to courses and you can find the unit testing two course right there. Right now there's no lectures posted, but I should start posting lectures by next week. If you're still unsure about making an account, even though it's free, even though I got free courses, even though you know you need to learn about unit testing, Head over to the more tab right here, go to testimonials and take a look and see what some people are saying about my courses. Looks like there's over a hundred testimonials so far with an average rating of 4.98 out of five. That's pretty good. And you can see, come over here and uh, read what people are saying about my courses. And if that still doesn't convince you, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I guess I can say, if you don't like them, I'll give you your money back. If you take the free courses, I got nothing to give you back. So, but I guarantee that's not going to happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in that next video.